Well, I mean, it's, it's almost like, where do you begin? Um, the first <laughs> is that with an appropriately applied stimulus and an adequate recovery and a reasonable whole food diet, though the combination of those things um, is will blow most people's minds. I mean, the rate of progress that they'll see will literally, for many people, particularly if they have not been previous athletes in their teens and 20s, they will find themselves in their 40s in better shape than they were in their 20s. Um, the strength gains are rapid and predictable. And as a consequence, because of all the hormonal effects of this kind of training, the body composition changes are also predictable and much greater than most people would expect. So people that embark upon a proper training and dietary regimen, which is very easy to incorporate even into a busy lifestyle, will experience results beyond their expectations and they will find themselves probably stronger than they've ever been in their whole life and with a better body composition than they have ever had. Now, if they were in great shape in their 20s, then it's even better. It's all the easier to get back where you were. But if you've never been there before, you will find yourself in uncharted territory, and that's very predictable. Um, most people that start a training program within 12 to 20 weeks will expect to easily see their strength double, um, and their body composition will improve markedly. Um, and it will seem almost... You know, compared to most other approaches that they may have tried, it will almost seem too easy to them. And and I know you you train clients, you've seen this. Um, oh, yeah, it, it, it's it it's it's the best thing about it. it, it as a, yeah. From a trainer's perspective, I think it's the the most amazing thing you can you can do for somebody in this job. And because a lot of times you 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 find people and they've tried different things. You know, they've done the P90X, they've done the extreme diets, they've done all this stuff, and it's hard work to do that. And it does produce some results, but it's not sustainable, and then they backslide, and they're worse off than they were. And when you finally give them something that is built upon logic and the requirements of the organism that is their body, and all of a sudden the results are predictable and come about quickly, um, they're just mind blown because it's not a big time commitment. If anything, it's such a ridiculously short time commitment that they find themselves um, <laughs> yeah. like they're being duped almost. And but if you just like just trust me, just do this, and all of a sudden they're like, I cannot believe this um, that it, that it came about with this little time commitment and this easily does this relate uh, to the, the concept you you I've, I've heard you talk about um which you refer to as awakening the active genotype yeah i think so i think that you know skeletal muscle has evolved over millions and millions of years and it's much more of an organ than we ever realized it was because it's a very hormonally active organ it sends out chemical messengers to all the other tissues of the body that are necessary to support movement. Skeletal muscle produces movement, but it needs help of everything in the body to support that movement, because movements are most preserved biologic function. Without movement, you can't get food, you can't keep from becoming food. So everything supports skeletal muscles movement and skeletal muscle sends out all these hormonal signals to all the tissues of your body. Name any and I'll be able to tell you, yep, this is how it supports it. So skeletal muscle, when it's producing movement, generates a lot of heat because the mitochondria are, are producing a lot of energy. There's a lot of internal friction. That heat has to be dissipated. So guess what? We need skin to help us out because skin through evaporative heat loss mechanism is our most effective mechanism of losing heat so we can continue to perform hard muscular work. That's why persistence hunters in our evolutionary past could wear down an antelope until it just freaking stood there panting, keeling over, and you just shot it with an arrow and then carried it off. 
because we are a naked ape that had skin and we can dissipate heat and keep going and going and going. So our skeletal muscle, believe it or not, makes our skin youthful. Um, being in good skeletal muscular condition will produce skin changes that all of the expensive skin treatments that get hawked online could never ever produce. Bone mineral density. Interleukin-15 is released from skeletal muscle during exercise. Signals the bone, the bone becomes thicker regardless of mechanical stressors and loading. Just the exposure to interleukin-15 sends the signal to the skeletal muscles like, hey, you gotta be thicker because we're getting stronger and we're attached to you. So everything just cascades outward from the improvement in the skeletal musculature and all aspects of your health and appearance improve in a seemingly easy way because it is activating this, what I have termed the active genotype, which is in our evolutionary past. In the same way that the modern life way is the polar opposite of that and makes the person feel like they are just falling apart and that the very air that they're breathing is getting converted to body fat. So when you take on this sort of exercise program and send the correct signal for an adaptive change and provide the correct signal in terms of diet and lifestyle, it takes that whole experience and turns it on its head. As easy as it seemed for you to turn into hell in a handbasket, all of a sudden when someone applies the proper stimuli it seems just as easy to reverse that process because it is. I mean, really, it's our birthright. If you look at photos of hunter-gatherers, they're not counting their macros. They're not counting their calories. They're, not, they're just living their life, and they are walking around with 8% body fat and look awesome and feel awesome all the way into old age unless something else kills them. And really what we're doing is we're just taking the knowledge of what's necessary and invoking it in a very straightforward manner. And the cool thing is, is once you know what you're doing, it doesn't take a lot of time commitment. It just takes the discipline of doing it and then staying out of the way and not messing with it. 